Hey, welcome to DrinkNectar.com. I'm your host, Josh Wade, and tonight we're talking about stemware. Uh, and does stemware really matter? Uh, and, you know, personally, I know that it does. I know that, uh, you know, drinking from something like this, uh, wine out of something like this, is a far cry uh, from drinking out of a properly made uh, wine glass. Uh, even even your, your crappy restaurant-style uh, wines that you pour in here and they fill it up. Uh, it ends up being you know five ounce pour pretty close to the top doesn't give you that sensory experience um, for drinking wine now there's science uh, to show the facts that uh, the, a properly designed wine glass uh, what it typically or what it does is it, it accentuates um, uh, two areas it accentuates the aromas that come out of the wine um, it allows you to get the right amount of oxygen into the wine when you're swirling the wine uh, it really allows that flavor to, or the aroma to be released uh, and as you know, uh, our sense of smell and our sense of taste are extremely tied together. Um, the other piece uh, of a wine glass that's really important uh, is the opening, uh, the size of the opening in the mouth. I mean, they're designed specifically uh, for certain wine glasses uh, to accentuate the flavor profile that you're going to get. Some wine, you know, coats your entire mouth and you get the experience across, you know, the entire breadth of the palate. And so, you know, having a, uh, a larger opening in a wine glass, even larger than this for some wines, um, allows that to be, you know, washing across all your mouth. As we you'll notice, I've got a champagne flute. It's tall and skinny. That helps the bubbles to go to the top um, for the, you know, more of the uh, look of it, uh, but also to direct the flow of the liquid more towards the center of your palate. So there's some science behind it there. Uh, but recently I received these wines for review uh, by Ravenscroft Crystals, and they're these invisible line of wine glasses. Uh, you know, a phenomenal difference really uh, is the first thing you notice is in the weight. Uh, so extremely lightweight. I would say that this uh, white wine glass from Ravenscroft is at least half of the um, uh, weight of my traditional wine glass, and, you know, and I can notice the difference. Which had a, a micrometer uh, to give you an exact dimension, but I notice a significant difference in the width um, at the rim of the wine glass as well. <laughs> you know, for me, I've never been super pleased with my space age um, looking uh, wine glasses with the big balloon. And I, I like them; um, they're fun at parties, and we have a lot of these. Um, but for presentation on video, I think they're distracting from the wine because uh, you don't get to see straight into the wine. So when Ravenscroft contacted me um, about potentially reviewing these glasses, I was more than happy to oblige. But you know, I've got to be honest. Um, I know that uh, you know they're lightweight. Um, I broke the very first one that I received within about three or four glasses that I drank. Maybe I was a little tipsy and shouldn't have been washing it. Um, but the other thing that I noticed is some imperfections in the glass. Um, there are some just uh, some ripples across this particular red wine glass, and then there are some bubbles in the base um, of this wine glass, and then in the other white wine glass, uh, not this one, but in the other white wine glass that I received, there's uh, you can see a seam that goes diagonally across the um, the glass. Uh, they're all handmade. They're all lead free. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more in the text about lead versus lead free. Um, but you know, overall, at the end of the day, uh, I think it's an improvement for the presentation of my video uh, to use the Raven's Cross Croft crystals at ten dollars a glass. If I were buying these, and I noticed the dis disparity of. Um, uh, the quality and uh, the consistency, I'd probably be a little disappointed in that. So, um, give you an idea. The other idea is uh, to hear the wine glass. You know, there's five senses after all. You're seeing it, you're smelling it, but let's give you a hear. That's got a great uh, chime to it, the romance of, of saying cheers. Um, just to give you an example of what this sounds like. I'm gonna grab it by the bass, even. Kind of has a dull uh, ring to it, a dull thud. Um, they are, like I said, they're made of crystal, uh, so you do get um, the resonation in there that if you were to, um, you know, do the songs. So that does come across uh, if you're going to make some wine glass music. Uh, the glasses are certainly functional, they light, they're lightweight, they feel nice in your hand. Um, all in all, Gonna stick with these for some videos, see how they go through, see how I like them. I just realized I poured the red wine in the white wine glass. My apologies, drink happy.